Hey guys, Fred here, uh, VE three FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. Friday, September second, twenty twenty two. I just want to do a quick uh, video of the Shigu G one zero six. This radio here. Okay. I want to do a quick video here on, on TW, uh, and the reason I'm, gonna, I'm going to do a video on TW is that a few people, or someone had mentioned that uh, it's cutting out characters uh, on TW. Now, I'm using a straight key. I do not know if they're using a keyer, uh, a paddle, and if so, then there's an issue. It seems like... Uh, when it comes to paddles and um, keyers that the uh, Shigu radios have had some issues in the past. So, I am using the KX2 to receive and I will be sending a CQ here into a dummy load using the G106. So, here we go. All right, so, Let's try uh, sending uh, a test message here uh, with the G106 into a dummy load. So, as we can see, uh, the code of the straight key seems to be all right. Uh, again, I'm not sure. I, I do not use paddles anymore. I uh, strictly use straight key. You know, and this is what I use here. And I am into the dummy load back here on the G106. So. Just a quick test here guys, and uh, just uh, testing out uh, the CW aspect of the radio. And I have made some contacts on CW with it. Uh, I do know that the antenna absolutely needs to be resonant. If there is any high SWR, uh, the radio will go a little nuts. And you can even hear it on an external radio when you put your hand on the case, you can hear things change. You can hear things, <laughs> the tone, everything changes. So uh, there is some RF definitely getting into it. Uh, a couple of folks have showed some uh, spectrum analyzer uh, pics of the radio. And it does appear that there are some uh, emissions that are, you know, outside of the band or within the band uh, that are happening. So I just want to do this short video here uh, for you guys today. So have a great weekend. Uh, this is Fred, uh, VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. Have a great weekend and stay safe. 7-3.